All right. Going into it. First match. Uh, so, Brand's definitely going to be looking to just try and catch Stu off and get a box early, but Venom Far Slash, 6P, they stop a lot of stuff, so I figure in this matchup it's probably going to be pretty tough to get the first hit in for Brandon. He's going to have to make some, like, big brain reads here. Um, but these guys play all the time, so uh, it's. I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls that out of the back pocket. Um, so, here we go. Oh, back dash. All right, yeah, very safe. Stu was clearly worried about something there, so. Stu taking good early lead, getting rid of that box, so the back dash at the start for Brandon really wasn't, didn't really do anything for him, but grab. Ooh, double box set in the corner. Ooh, oh my gosh. Stuart Driver going ham right now. Not letting Brandon get anything. Ooh. Fan grab though, get the train started again. Yeah, just kill the boxes. Play it safe. Iger shields up though, so it's gonna be a lot tougher for Venom to approach with balls. Ooh, command grab, yeah. That's the second one now. I don't think he's looking for it. Yeah, that should be the round. Oh, no. Ah, uh, yeah, this is gonna be two level two, or three level two boxes though, so hard to come back from that. Definitely not impossible, but, you know. All right. Oop, backdash again for Brandon. No one now, though, to, he's got to push the offensive here. So he's going to play a little more passively at the start, it looks like, so. But the aggression didn't work out, and now Stu is going in with this pressure. That is going to be tough for Brandon to have to get out of here. His guard bar is just getting jacked like nuts. Oh, but he makes it out. He's got 50 meter now to 75 either. So this is actually like, yeah, this is scary for him. This has gone from, oh my gosh. This has gone from Stu being in total control to this might actually be kind of bad. Oh yeah, there we go. Get the sets going, yeah. Now the army is out. Oh, here we go. Yeah, get rid of those boxes, Stu. Yeah, there you go. All the work gone, good stuff. It was a ballsy Calvados. Brandon's just trying to regain control however he can right now. Um, he just needs to get an opportunity to get the box out. So, he'll be looking out for just any opportunities to give him butt with Super. Yeah, he's pretty cooked for this round. Brandon going in the last round, though, with a slight advantage on burst. Yeah, there we go. So there's that adaptation. Now he's realizing he can't just play passively against two. He's got to start putting buttons out there. Try and catch him early. Oops. Going in pressure, though. Ooh, there we go. Good blocks, but can stop that. All right, so Stu's now in a really good position because, yeah, right on top of the boxes. Even though those are leveled up boxes, Venom can just do so much damage to them with the balls. Like, look at that. Like, it's just bouncing on top of them constantly. Like, that's so tough for Jack to do it. I won't be surprised if Brandon pulls this out somehow, but it's going to be tough at this point. Yeah, he's going to start needing to build the, the, the army up here. But he's got Lancers and Knights, so he's definitely uh, on the right track. And with the reset, that's, that's good stuff. Ooh, PRC. Brandon gets a hit, though. It was worth it. Yeah. Stu is just... Yeah, he doesn't know whether or not to hit the boxes or Jacko, and he's getting confused. This is tough. Like I said, though, this is Brandon can do this. This is this character. All she needs is to get this boxes set up, and now yeah, it just steamrolls back her way so hard. So that's game one. Strong showing from both. Stu definitely is like taking the early parts of the round. Um, so hopefully he can kind of adjust and try and find a way to keep that momentum going throughout the round. But Brandon's just so good at like taking control uh, and just not letting go of it. So. But early good start here for Brandon. Foxes, all three set. He's got Iga Shield, so they're protected now too, giving them time to level up. Venom Ball, getting rid of the uh, Magician, I think. I think it was Magician? Yeah. Um, but still not going to be great because now Brandon gets an RC combo and those, like, yeah, they're just spawning. This is so tough. Now. The boxes are on the other side of the screen, so Brandon's not going to let him get over there. So Stu's just going to have to try and find a way to, like, get some pressure off of him and get over there, but I just I don't think it's going to happen this round. Yeah. yeah. 
That's so hard to do in that position. Right. There's a box again. It's, I think this is a really bad turning point for Stu here now, just because he's not winning those opening uh, volleys. Like, that was... When he was oh bad burst, oh, that sucks. When he was taking those first couple like in those first couple rounds there, when he got the good starts, it was giving him an opportunity to win. But now, if he can't even get those first hits, it's like Jack was at full health and getting full boxes, so it's gonna be that much harder to fall back from it, right? So and now Brian's just in like lose control at this point. He's got minions spawning like crazy. They're at level two, about to go to level three, uh, and he can just he can honestly play this super cautiously here. He doesn't have to do anything too crazy. Because even if Stu wants to kill these boxes, he has to put so much more work into them. So now, he kind of has to rely on getting hits on Jacko. Yeah, like look at that. Now he has to rely on just trying to get hits on Jacko to clear the screen. But that's so hard when you can't put the balls out there with Iga Shield. But he, he lost all his minions, and it kind of doesn't matter because his boxes are so protected at this point because of the level 3 health. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so tough. But I think, yeah, I think that's kind of the turning point now is Stu was giving himself opportunities to win when he was um, when he was taking those first couple hits at the start of the round, getting like 50% and getting some good Oki. Um, allowing, like, just forcing Brandon into a more of a corner that he has to. It's a really good phase. <laughs> it's a really good Stu's, like, focusing phase. Oh, man, that's really good. <laughs> Um, but he's got to, he's definitely got to start trying to get those round start, um, wins here. Cause I think that's going to be what takes it from. All right, here we go. Like I said, he's taking control early in this round and that's what he needs to do if he wants to stand a chance of beating Brandon at this point. Um, even though he's spawning Lancers, it's like it's still level one or rather level two now, but he's only got one. So, and with ball sets, it's, it's still scary for Brandon to try and do it. Oh my God. That was a rough spawn on Lancer. Stu got the hit, but Lancer spawned at the right time, so he's in full on coming and just took control of the corner again. Yeah, there it goes. That's See, that's all it takes. Like, this matchup is so... It's so tough, especially for any projectile-based characters. Like, Venom at least can kill boxes really quickly with the balls when there is an Iga Shield up, but when Brennan has access to Iga Shield or Jacko, it's so like so much tougher to try and come back from those these momentum swings because they're just so heavy in Jacko's favor because generally she's got one or two boxes up she's got minions spawning and even if she gets hit it's like she's gonna save them and can already get them leveling up so all right Stu taking good early advantage though he's got pressure Brandon can't really do much dragging the guard bar Stu just looking for anything but Boxes are set. This is gonna be tough now. Stu's gonna have to really work hard to get this win here because three box sets in the corner like this is rough. It is not an easy time. Um, he's killing one though. Even with the overdrive on the uh, boxes. Oh, good tech. All right. And called out the command grab. Stu, uh, let's go. Like after we're, the adaptation is starting to come. Even though Jack was rebuilding those boxes, like if they stay at level one, Stu has a chance here. He's just got to kill these boxes, though. He's got to get the skill here. Yeah, there you go. Good. Now knights, or rather, land, or yeah, knights are going to be the next tough one. But in their level 3-2, this is going to be rough. He's still at first. Um, but I, I wonder if he's going to try and save it for a gold burst opportunity to try and switch things in his favor. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. All right. GG's to Stu. But, uh... Brandon's going to take it there. And I think it is me and Alan up. So I'm going to go play stream. <laughs>